So we've been uh, using the MakerBot Replicator 2 for a couple of months now, and uh, the capped on tape and ceramic came off of the extruder, and so we are going to uh, replace that today and go over how that's done. We emailed MakerBot, and they actually sent us a new piece of capped on tape. The uh, holes are all pre-cut. For the tools, we'll use a normal pair of scissors, a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, and a normal Phillips screwdriver. The first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the filament and the guide tube and that will give us a little bit better access to the nozzle so we can remove the old capped on tape and replace it. So for the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go down to the menu and we will select utilities and then change filament and unload. It will take just a minute for the printer to uh, heat up and then we can unload the filament. The LCD screen on the MakerBot will actually guide us through this uh, process. Um, once the MakerBot is, is heated, go ahead and remove the guide tube and then just gently pull up on the filament and it should come right out. Once that's done, you can press the M to exit the process. Before we get started, um, we'll actually turn off the MakerBot and also unplug the printer. It's always a good idea whenever you're working on your printer to do this. The first step is we're going to remove the Phillips screws that hold the active cooling duct on the side of the extruder. And you can see there are two of them um, on the top left and on the bottom right, so we'll remove both of those. Once the active cooling duct is removed, we'll just let it hang by the wires here. Uh, the reason why we take the active cooling duct off is it'll actually allow us access to the bolts on the bottom of the extruder so we can remove the extruder from uh, the gantry. Um, before you get started and as you work around the extruder, make sure that it's uh, not hot um, so it doesn't burn you. Um, you can see there are two bolts, one on the right side of the extruder and one on the left, and we will take both of those out and so the extruder will, we can lift the extruder right off of the gantry at that point. And uh, we'll use the uh, 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to remove the two bolts. And now we'll just take the entire extruder assembly and lift it up off the gantry and, and sit it up on its side. And you can look and make sure there's no more capped on tape or insulation stuck up around the nozzle that you need to remove um, before putting the new capped on tape on. So this is the capped on tape and insulation that MakerBot sent. You can see it's pre-cut with the two holes and also the slit here and uh, we'll be able to use this to wrap right around the nozzle. We'll take the capped on tape and you can see the one side with the hole will actually fit around the thermal barrier and then we'll take it and we'll wrap it around here and you can see the bottom hole fits over top of the nozzle but notice there is a set screw next to the hole and so I'm going to push um, and there isn't a hole for that set screw so I'll just push hard on the capped on tape to mark the position of that set screw so I can cut it out and that will allow the set screw to come through the capped on tape and the insulation. So you can see now I've cut the hole for the set screw and we'll now um, put it back around the thermal core and it should fit well. So we'll remove the backing from the capped on tape and then wrap it all the way around the thermal core and it should uh, fit well and, and the capped on tape should reach all the way around and be able to stick on the other side. So now that we have the new capped on tape and insulation on, we'll uh, tip the extruder back on and sit it down in the gantry and then we'll be able to put the bolts back through the bottom using our 2.5 millimeter hex wrench. Um, it's just a little bit tricky to get the bolts lined up, but once they are lined up, they go in easy. So now we'll put the uh, active cooling duct back on. Um, line up the bolt holes and as you do so make sure you tuck the wires in so um, everything fits inside there nicely and we will use the Phillips screwdriver to replace the bolts. Um, so from here everything's put back together. You can reload your filament as you normally would. Thanks for watching. We hope this helps. For more information on 3D printing you can like us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel.